Hello everyone, welcome to Nianla Online. We have the Optometrics Grade 2 previous question paper in the 6th section. This is the 32nd question. Image formation at different distances in the two principal meridians is called the 4th option is presbyopia, emetropia, myopia, astigmatism. This is the correct answer to astigmatism. This is the first option. Presbyopia. Presbyopia is a refractive error. It is a physiological condition. Age is a crystalline lens. It is a condition for presbyopia. Then, the second option is emetropia. Emetropia means normal eye. Light trace is correct eye to retinal focus. That is the third option is astigmatism. A means absence, stigma means point. One point object in a point image form chayyadhar. And the focal line form chayyadhar in the astigmatism. Then the different stage place like in E-light trace to focus here. Image formation at different distance in two principal meridian is called astigmatism. Then the correct answer is astigmatism. Then the fourth option is myopia. Myopia is the same thing. Light trace is in front of the retina. Focus here. Myopia is the correct answer. Presbyopia. Okay. Next. Next question. The amount of hypermetropia which may be overcome by accommodation is A. Latin hypermetropia B. Facultative hypermetropia C. Manifest hypermetropia and D. None of the above. This is all doubt and doubt. Latin hypermetropia and that is facultative hypermetropia. Correct answer is that is facultative hypermetropia. We have total hypermetropia and hypermetropia. We have to divide it in two ways. Okay. First one is Latin hypermetropia. Second one is Manifest Hyperopia. In Latin Hyperopia, naturally inherited ciliary tone is correct. That is why we are in Latin Hyperopia. Suppose a patient has plus 3 diopter hyperopia. In the subjective refraction, Subjective refraction ले patient accept रहे थे two diopter आना, okay इतने याने two diopter। बाकी ला ये one diopter ने याना, नामले latent hypermetropia नो आये थे, okay। Then manifest hypermetropia, what is manifest hypermetropia? This ciliary tone which is correct to be hypermetropia and manifest hypermetropia and there are two components. Okay, first one, facultative hyperopia. Second one, absolute hyperopia. This facultative hypermetropia is the patient accommodation which is correct to be correct. Facultative hypermetropia is the absolute hypermetropia is the accommodation use. Even strain use is the correct to be correct. Hypermetropia is the absolute hypermetropia. Age is the same as the same as the same. This facultative hypermetropia amount is the absolute hypermetropia. Because the accommodative ability and the ability to strain the ability is the same. Now, the total of three diopter manifest hypermetropia is the patient accommodation of one diopter and the other is two diopter. Absolute hypermetropia. This Latin hypermetropia is the same as the cyclopegic refraction. Using atropine or any other strong cyclopegic drug. Now, hypermetropia, total hypermetropia, and then I divide it into Latin hypermetropia and manifest hypermetropia. What is Latin hypermetropia? Patient inherited ciliary tone use is correct. Hyperopia is Latin hypermetropia. Atropine is the same as cyclopegic drug use. We have Latin hypermetropia. Then, manifest hypermetropia is the same as the faculty 
hypermetropia and absolute hypermetropia. Patient the accommodation you say the correct in the faculty hypermetropia or accommodation you say the correct in but rather than the absolute hypermetropia. But total hypermetropia no can be latent hypermetropia plus manifest hypermetropia. This manifest hypermetropia is then to complement the faculty hypermetropia plus absolute hypermetropia. Okay, clear. All right. But then the correct answer no one in the end. Facultative hypermetropia, latent hypermetropia, ciliary inherent tone you say the correct way. We have atropy and cyclopegic drug you say the unmask. In this manifest hypermetropia, there are two components, absolute and facultative. This is the correct answer to the facultative. Okay, then 34th question. Spherical abrasion is eliminated by. This light rays, the periphery of the light rays is first to focus. That's why the light rays are focused on the light rays. That's why the light rays are focused on the light rays. Okay. This is a different focus item. This is a compound. This is a type of abrasion. This is a spherical abrasion. Question is, Spherical abrasion eliminate ya, naingan kita patut na. Is spherical abrasion eliminate ya, mende orang bad method ni. Adil le orang method ni, periscopic lenses. Periscopic lenses ni, mana? Periscopic lenses ni, mana le orang lens form mana? Pandu galat ni la, meniscus lens form mana? Periscopic lens. This is the first thing. This is the back surface curve. One thing is plus or minus 1.25 diopter. 1.25 diopter is the back surface curve. This is the periscopic lens. This is the meniscus form. Okay, the meniscus lens form is already abrasion eliminated. Design the lens. Meniscus means Moon-like stretches, moon pole and down, one chandra kala pole. It is the anterior surface is convex and the posterior surface is concave. Okay, now convex, now the minus meniscus lens is under type, minus meniscus and the plus meniscus and the minus meniscus in the case, the convex side, the convex side, कॉन्केव साइड ने कल कॉर्डोवाइड की, ओके प्लस मेनिस्कस ने इस साइड के इसले कॉन्वेक्स साइड ले पावर है, कॉन्केव साइड ले पावर ने कल कूट दलाई रखी, अब मेनिस्कस ना ना मोड लाइक स्ट्रेचर आना एंटीजेस सरफेस और सरफेस कॉन्वेक्स साइड के ऑपोजिट सरफेस कॉन्केव वाइड की, अदिले माइनस मेनिस्कस अंडर प्लस मेनिस्कस अंडर my plus meniscus आनंगी convex surface ने power है concave surface power ने कालम कूट दलाई रखी। Okay, then aplantic lens. Aplantic lens means aspheric lens वाला लोड lens आना। Sorry के लाभ देशन chromium eliminate या बट इन्दा lens आना। अब इधर एल्लांग को एल्लांग करेक्ट आना। Options अदोंड all of the above आयर के answer। Then thirty fifth question. Decentering of lenses is useful in asymmetrical face, correction of skin. For near work, all of the above are the correct answer. Because the asymmetrical face is the IPD or interpupillary distance is changed. In that case, we have to apply the decentration. Then, correction of skin. Skin is the correction of prism. Actually, we have to induce the decentration of prism. Okay. Prism induce the decentration. Decentration you say in the screen correction on a screen correction and I'm going to base in base up based on a capacity like for near work near work in a case in a number of prism at DC are in a car no number of take in Okumba I'm an optical center course change in now a case in cherry or insert at DC are in there then I you help out calculation depend on all except axial length of the eye and it is chamber of depth 
and uh, keratometry values and corneal thickness. There are wrong answer no the corneal thickness on corneal thickness in the IOL power considering calculate aim consider considering okay IOL power conduct under formula in no? the SRK formula where I regard the formula in the action number you see don't take in the formula and SRK formula nor in the Sandy Switzerland craft formula IOL power equal to A minus 2.5 L minus 0.9 K. This is A constant. A constant. But constant L is the axial length. K is the K reading. Okay. So, axial length is considered. And it is chamber depth considered. And keratometric value considered in the corneal thickness matram considered in the then indication for use of cyclopitic in refraction in children's in convergence screen with spasm of accommodation and all of the above. Correct answer no in the all of the above on a children's accommodation the amount of cool the light him other than the hypermetropy a candela unmask a mandate you say him other well into pseudomyopia accommodation amount to garner pseudomyopia gonna give a case room now a cyclopedic you say him convergence skin the convergence skin in order is not an accommodation or another at our case number of cyclopedic you say that the refraction chair and then with spasm of accommodation or accommodation on a for accommodation relax a mandate the cyclopedic refraction chair and for all of the above and then the correct answer then 30th question, the hypermetropia which is unmasked by cyclopegic is called, we will discuss already in the first section, discuss the correct answer is latent hypermetropia, ciliary tone which is adjusted in hypermetropia, absolute hypermetropia is the manifest part, accommodation you say the correct answer, manifest hypermetropia is the total hypermetropia is the second part, Okay, but then the correct answer is latent hypermetropia. 